must promote um, personal hygiene. Yeah, because since this coronavirus has come to to this world, a lot of us have learned basic things that we need to do, which must be which is part of us. <laughs> Does it mean that you weren't practicing uh, personal hygiene before? Yeah, actually, talk of personal hygiene, talking about the basic things of washing of hands, right? At least when you are coughing, use tissue handkerchief after using the tissue you need to throw it away there are basic things that um it's that, 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 that you're, you're now learning that you need to do more we need to do more of it uh -huh. so it's something that has come to to teach us uh, basic things that we need to learn as as humans yeah so these are the lessons that the COVID 19 has taught you but but before 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 you go what will you do differently after coronavirus goes away actually what I may do different after coronavirus. I said, just keep um, the basic hygiene that has, come, has brought to us. Uh -huh. Keep those kind of basic hygiene. Those are the things that I will try as much as possible to, um, to go by it. Because I've seen that at least when you practice it, it goes a long way to help you. Sometimes as sanitizer, sometimes going to town, you feel like taking something in. There's no place for you to wash your hand. You have your sanitizer, just rub it on your hand, then you can use it. So I see that even though it has come, but at the same time we have the light aspect of it. Yeah, that I think I may I may use it as well. And your face mask. Why am I not wearing my face mask? Well, I have the face mask, but I just remove it. Uh, oh, I was not able to breathe for that, so I just remove it. Do you have asthma or any other medical condition? No, no, no. I was having cold. That's why. Uh, but I have it. Yeah, I've been putting it on, but since I just remove it. So when I'm about to board a car, then I put it on since I'm walking alone as well. Coronavirus has actually brought the whole world to a standstill uh, just to make people know that God is still God and He is the ruler of the world. Nobody has ever suspected that, I mean, across the whole world, even well to do countries, I mean, can come to a standstill. And so He tells us that, I mean, God is the supreme, and human beings must, at the end of the day, put their whole trust in Him. And I am sure that it has come at a time that people will have to know that apart from God, I mean, there is nothing we can do that, that, can, that can... So these are the lessons that He has taught you, that God is still God, and we must fear Him and do the, all the things that, that He wants us to do. But... Tell me, what will you do differently after COVID-19, after everything goes away, after coronavirus goes away? What will you do differently? Uh, basically, I, I am sure that life will still be the same as, as it used to. But with coronavirus coming, it, tell, it has really made human beings to, to trust God and to know that apart from God, there is no other way of survival. Yeah, so I think that it has come to strengthen our faith in God the more, and to let us know that leaning on our own understanding as human beings cannot take us far. We've got all the technology, we've got all the human resources, but still people are dying at a rate that you can't just imagine. So I think it has come to, God has come to manifest himself to human beings to let them know that he's still God. So what you're saying is that you draw closer to God after everything subsides. And live for him, please him in all our ways, and to live holy lives. I mean, I think basically that's what the, this coronavirus has come to teach us. Because <laughs> Okay, this is the woman is it? Is there any 
wana mu bia betu bia na emfa nyankopon de processing be be se de be ya dan kwa me bi no na bi bia be okay na u face mask oh me ba se se de me be didi nti ha na ma drop ni bi bia na me de ma de ya she 